I mean, clearly people can ask questions over lunch. Is, let's just go for one or two, just very quickly. There's one down here. I'm literally going to limit it to two questions. There's one there. Hi, it's, it's a question for Kwan. I, I was quite surprised that you didn't mention Safe Harbour anywhere because, it, I mean, it, it is certainly our belief that we can transfer data outside of the European Economic Area, providing it's to a country that complies with Safe Harbour Directive. So I just wondered what your views were on that. Kwan, very quickly, if you can. But technically, Safe Harbour is just for the US. There's a white list of certain countries. So if it's a white list of countries, it's fine. If it's a Safe Harbour, it should be OK, but in the UK. But European regulators have raised a lot of doubts about Safe Harbour, and in future, they might try and kill it, so, or, or at least put a, sort of time, a deadline on it. So it's, it can be tricky if you're outside the UK. I think UK is probably OK, as long as the data is kept in the US. I think, is there one more at the back? There's a question at the back there. And then we'll take the very last one over there, and that'll be it. Hi, um, uh, Tony Scott, web, web developer. Um, yes, the law does seem to be out of line with reality. I mean, uh, uh, an immediate thought that springs to mind with me is it's all very fine and good saying keep personal data within the uh, EEA. But this doesn't take into account the way the internet actually works in terms of packets. Packets don't recognise national borders. So as soon as you send any data to and from uh, some servers that have got a cloud on them, the packets could go anywhere around the world. If each packet, in theory, could go a totally different route through, through any and every country in the world. Um, I, I didn't have time to mention it. There is an exemption for mere transit. But, you know, there's a question mark about, like, for example, is follow the sun practices, is that mere transit? Yeah. Thanks. And the very last question, very briefly, if you can, please. Uh, do we need to worry about the Patriot Act in the, in the US in terms of commercial data? Yeah. <laughs> um, again, again, that, that, that is kind of, because US cloud providers are dominant, there's a lot of emphasis on the Patriot Act. But actually, all countries have laws which enable them to get your data. It's just that US cloud providers are dominant. And in many ways, it's because I said earlier on, a lot of cloud providers actually put in their terms that they have the right to, for their own protection, they have the right to disclose data if they're requested by authorities. So in many ways, this is a kind of personal data issue about can you transfer the data outside the EEA. And the information commissioner has said, okay, if you are a, a cloud user, you've signed up to a, for, for a US cloud provider, um, if they do transfer data under the Patriot Act, you're not necessarily in trouble because it's not you doing it, it's the cloud provider that's doing it. And if they do it because they were required to by law as opposed to being simply asked, then they're protected by law because they're required to. But in many ways, it's not just that. It's, it's you know, if you have got a cloud provider who's US-based, you know, you might have data transferred out to them, but if you have another cloud provider, you might get data that's sucked out of there by their local country. So it's not just the US that's, that you have to worry about. It's all countries, really. OK, thank you. Um, can we just say very quickly thank you to our three speakers in this session?